My afternoon is going inescapably worse than Brent Leo Smith's afternoon is going. As you can see in front of us, a rescue party uh, of the Mahindra. And in the Mahindra is the Bushwalk backpack. And there is Brian Joubert. You can see the... <laughs> 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 the, the first officer of the of the rescue vehicle, the captain of the rescue vehicle, um, is is Viam Duran Brat, and he of course, uh, well, he's driving, and he thought he would be able to fix Wendy. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that even God could fix Wendy at this stage of her existence, and so we're going to be dragged all the way home. But really, very wonderful that you saw Karula and I just want to share with you the experience that we had earlier today. We were sitting in the uh, Mulwati drainage line earlier on a... I had just bought a camping chair, you see, my first purchase of a camping chair, and so I thought I'd test it out in the drainage line. So there I was sitting and I dozed off completely and I woke up with the feeling that something was looking at me and I looked up and there was Karula not six meters away from me, just standing in the drainage line. She'd, just, she'd obviously been coming up the drainage and then seen me and decided she'd go past me and she'd gone up onto the bank and she'd stop and she was looking at me. And I opened my eyes and there was the queen staring at me and I opened my eyes and she saw me open my eyes and she waited for a little while and then she just sauntered off up uh, past the bank and off and we heard some Impala alarm calling one of whose cousins has clearly just uh, met its end, unfortunately for that. Anyway, it was the most wonderful experience. So although um, I'm having what can only be described as a subpar experience at the moment, as the dust from the Mahindra fills my nostrils and my mouth, and indeed my ears, and every other orifice of my body, at least we did have that really wonderful, wonderful experience of Karula earlier today. And of course she is in an impala kill, which means that we could well be able to see her again tomorrow. Which would be very nice. And there is the dove flying past David, you see it? It's gone. Anyway, that's called a whip pan, everybody. A whip pan is when you whip the camera right to the side. Ah, look at this tree. Wonderful. Here we go. Peltiforum africanum. Stunning tree. And we've been doing quite a lot on eyes recently, and after we've driven home, towed by the Mahindra, well, I'm unfortunately going to have very sore eyes. But luckily, I've just collected some Peltiforum Africanum, and you can soak this in water, apparently. Whoops, I nearly hit that tree. And um, then you can pour it in your eyes, and your eyes will be relieved of any trouble that you might have. Very soft. David, would you like to feel it? Yes, please. What do you think it feels like, David? Soft. Yes, like a soft thing. Soft. Yes. Now, if you're doing a school drive, of course, the first thing you tell people is that this tree used to be used as a toilet paper substitute. Well, kids find that deeply amusing when you tell them that. Um, of course, I've always found that to be a bit of a stupid tale because if you look at it, well, there are just a lot of gaps between the leaves. And I think that using this as loo paper would be a profoundly silly idea. Anyway, that's what that tree is. Let's see what the next thing we find is. Ah, no, lots of silver cluster leaf. Uh, let me find something else. Brent is going back to the lions, which is good fun. Silver cluster leaf, David. Oh, you know what is? I know that this is. Look, I know this isn't quite inter interesting as Karula and her cubs. Hang on. Those Franklins are alarm calling. Anyway, uh, what we have here, if you look at this leaf here on the right hand side of it, what you can see is a bit of discoloured piece of leaf there. That's it, you can see it there. That discoloured piece of leaf is made by a leaf tear, and a leaf tear is a type of caterpillar. And although when you flick or when you turn this leaf to the side, it looks like it's two-dimensional. Two it isn't. It's obviously three-dimensional. It's only a couple of cells thick, or a few cells thick. And you find that those few cells, or in between them, live a couple of tiny little caterpillars, and they're called leaf tears. 
Now that's a fascinating piece of information, isn't it, David? Yes, sir. Do you feel that you will sleep easier tonight knowing what I've just mm -hmm. told you? Mm -hmm. There's the sunset, everybody. The magnificent orange western horizon, the embers of the African day, uh, start to disappear in amongst the dust of the Mahindra in front of us. Marvellous.